Hey, what is going on, guys? <laughs> it's your boy, Bob Freaking Builder here. And last episode, we finished up the runner. And now we're starting on Aventis Savoya. Let's start it. are incredible yes it was uh, an incredible time <laughs> you looked very handsome in that uniform that's not me that's Matteo oh of course I'm sorry dad take no. as long as you need no no it's okay tesoro tesoro it's time I told you what happened to him it was during our last battle together just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The RDT. Avanti Sovia. Alright, let's roll. Hang on, what else I got? Oh, snap. I've actually seen this class in the elites for uh, multiplayer. While Matteo was pushing forward. I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing the story makes me worry for you. Don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Aditi were proud volunteers. They would have done anything for Italy. Oh, hey, I can actually use binoculars. The base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first. You know what the best part about armor is, is the ricochet effect. Now for those of you that don't know exactly what the ricochet effect is, well, all bullets, or with the, uh, let's see, there's a theory, and it's basically not a theory anymore, it's a law. Whenever a bullet travels, it travels in a straight direction, right? But then you've also got to calculate for mass of the bullet, weight, how much the wind is, Pass it's going. Well, all bullets can bounce back. That's basically what I was getting towards. And when a bullet bounces back, that's called the ricochet. And whenever it bounces back, it can go anywhere. And that's the ricochet effect, my friends. Like right there, the ricochet effect. You know, basically death. Oh, here we go. All that was left after the flame troops were some prisoners. After that, the church would be ours. And... Yeah. 
stab. You did. Alright, let's just go ahead and... Really Mini kills are not silent. So this is like all of the people that I got with me. I do not know what you just said. There was an artillery gun right, move. shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. He was still heading to the fort. Right. I had to make sure he got there. Oh no, this kind of reminds me of the MGO8. Yeah, I've been meaning to actually record the final parts of this game ever since I started it because my god. I, I like the game, yeah. Heck yeah. Like, just to boot every first-person shooter that I've ever played, I'm, I've loved. And you can tell from the finished games that I've actually finished. Oh, my god. Friendly. Doubly reload fam. My god, how many of these freaking flame troopers are there? Yep, just just done it. Start running boy. Stop me. They're just like, nah, man, we can't fight him. Where you going? Nah, fam. The only way to ensure that my men were safe was to blow up the gun itself. Ah, I love the good old. First person shooters. You know it'd be even better if I could see.
Give me just a, a second. Try this again. That explosion was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. That was my next target. Let's move. <laughs> Anybody else see how bad that aim was? Stab. Never turn your back. Never retreat in a fight. Because then the enemy can just stick it behind you and stab you. Unless you know that the enemy is way 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 far back and then yeah do your best in retreat if you're not gonna make it i take down the last man but then i hear a noise that i will never forget bombers they were targeting mateo's unit below me so i do the only thing I can. it was me against an entire enemy bomber squadron we had no reinforcements. If those men were killed, our advance would be completely altered, and I would have lost my tail. First few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. Were you still safe behind your armor? Of course, of course. Nothing could dent it. Yeah, crack a run. <laughs> that that would be like first instinct. Run, run, run. I would definitely still have the question of how am I still alive?
Oh yeah, that armor is useless now. <coughs> he got the power of Jesus on when his I side. Up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. Oh, God. Mateo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. You know what? Honestly, though, I wouldn't be bringing that. I had to find Mateo. He could have been anywhere. Taking this. This is what I'm talking about. It started with the first thing that came through the fog. There were allies pinned inside lodges. I needed to save them. What's up, my allied friends? A sniper, don't need grenade things, mines. Anything back here? Oh, ho, 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 yes, this is what I'm talking about the original MP40. This is like the MP40 before it was the MP40. of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with. Did that? Oh uh, no! 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 I'm out of ammo. of will we took out their firepower the lodges were safe and i had to move on you never said was mateo in those lodges no the men said his unit had made it further up <laughs> Alright, 
else. Is there anything new around here? Every part of me wanted to get out of the trenches. I could hear Italian yelling. I knew my friends were trapped. Everywhere I looked, too late. I felt alone among ghosts. After a while, I couldn't even look at the bodies. We had to have made it to the fort. Hang on, there might be some good loot in here. Nope. Oh, I already got this. And I think we're good. Okay, let's move. I tried going the hard route and it just wasn't working out. It just wasn't working out, guys. What, you mean I can't go through the front? But well, that's called making an entrance. Actually, give me a second. A full Mac in him. How is he not dead? Logic, where are you? you about trying to shoot at a man while he's reloading Son, had almost stopped looking, started giving in to the hope that Matteo had escaped, and then. No! No!
He never got older. And here I am, still. Who decides such things? Dang, <coughs> dang, son. Well, uh, that was deep. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. You just keep a watching, and I'm gonna keep on popping them out. The last one we have is Nothing is Written. Lawrence of Arabia. Hang on, I was actually reading a book about that person. Lawrence. Yeah. Alright, in the next episode, we're gonna be doing this campaign mission. And then, that's it. We're done. I'm done with this one. <laughs> At least for now. Yeah. Okay, well, with that, I'm gonna end it. I hope you all have enjoyed if you did you know what to do just keep on watching my videos I'll keep pumping them out I'm hoping to finish this today that way then you guys can see the ending watch them all by Tuesday I'm gonna try to have everything uploaded by Monday and I think after all of this I think I'm gonna stop I don't think I'm gonna ever stop playing this you know what yeah I think I might and then I'm gonna move on to most likely Rainbow Six Siege because it has a story mode but I've beaten the story mode yeah <laughs> I don't even think I've recorded Rainbow Six that's a good question oh I'll figure it out later any of you guys hope you have enjoyed I've been your host Bob Builder and I'm signing off. Stay classy out there, guys. And remember, tissues are good for crotch for the stopping tears, but nothing could ever stop a broken heart. Alright, stay classy. <laughs>